how you guys doing? I got some um, cool stuff from a happy mail from um, Darla. And she put in a couple of things that I thought would look cool, eventually making its way into my book. A couple of cool postcards. And look at these cool fabrics. Look at that. I told Susan I needed to do one last oh, funky fish. She goes, oh, no, not another funky fish. <laughs> but um, some of you had mentioned that you were also um, using, you know, a block from a from a book and how I was going to put it back inside. So um, I thought, well, I'm just going to, you know, just glue it in. But for those of you that haven't done that before, I just thought I'd show you um, as I do it. And that way, um, it maybe it won't intimidate you so much to try and do that type of a project. So I thought before, you know, we get on to the next one, it'd be kind of a cool idea if we finish this one. <laughs> Oh. oh, and you are. Oh, how cool. We want to see pictures. I love seeing pictures of what you guys do with um, the kits. It really encourages me and it helps me um, think of, you know, what to put in the next kits because, um, you know, it um, it kind of sees what direction you're going or what things you know, you feel more comfortable working with. And um, I just figured, you know, it helps me. <laughs> I'm being selfish. It helps me if you show me pictures. <laughs> oh, that worked. Anyway, so aren't these cool? All this coral and everything. Well, all, you know, when I say the last um, time I'm, you know, doing the funky fish, what I mean is the last time I'm going to do it you know, for you guys, but I'm still going to be working on mine because mine's not done. But before we get, you know, started on the next kit, it'd be nice if I at least got some of this. Done. I need to turn, hold on. I need to turn off. Mm, get rid of my Facebook. It's on somewhere. It's irritating. Hold on. Let me get rid of it. I hope that gets rid of it. <laughs> I get rid of the sound. Maybe not. I don't know. Okay, here we go. Scotty, thank you what? That somebody's on? <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah, Susan, we're going to do another funky fish. But I just wanted to show how, you know, how simple it is to glue this block in. So anyway, originally, you guys remember that Johnny had sent me this book and I was going to use this book. But I haven't even finished you know, I don't even think maybe half of the pages. Well, maybe a half. And <clears throat> it was already way too, you know, chunky for that one. So I had this other book that I had gutted for something else. And it was kind of perfect as far as the size was concerned. So I thought, you know what, let me just stick it in this one and be done with it. And that way it can still grow. And there's still room for it to get a little more chunky. And plus, I think it's kind of a cool book. So I thought, let's just go for it. <laughs> Scotty, you probably know the whole dialogue. Which version? There's so many versions of um, Pride and Prejudice. Which one did you watch? Or did you watch three different types? That would be cool. And then you could, like, write a write something about how they're all different. So basically all I'm going to do, oh, this is a little short because I made it for the other one. Uh-oh. 
Eh, maybe it'll fit. Eh, it'll it'll do. All I'm going to do basically is just glue this down into this spine with my fabric tack. Oh, um, I don't know if for those of you that didn't see it when I mentioned it. After I decided, you know, what I was going to use and had this block, then I just got a piece of fabric and really layered. Look, it's already coming out there, but really layered a lot of the fabric tack down in the center and then just laid this in because I knew then I was going to use that when I um, glued it into the spine. So that's what you can do with, you know, whatever it is you're using. And that's if you already tore it out. This was already loose and torn out, so that's why I have to put it back into the book. So that's basically what we're gonna do. And then I thought that this, um, the collage that I did would be pretty cool if I put that here on the back pages, on the front and the back, I should say, front and back. So I think that's what we'll do. But once I glue this down, we won't be able to move it for a little while. Or maybe, eh. so we need to find another little project to do while this is gluing down or drying. And then we can put this in the back. So that's the plan. So if this doesn't dry, you'll know. <laughs> Off camera, I'll be gluing this in the front and the back. All right, so let's do that. Oh, well, before that, um, those of you that maybe haven't seen what I've been doing, but let's go do a quick flip because if I, I won't be able to do it after I glue it down. So it'll take a while to dry. So basically this is what we've been working on with the kit this past month. And, um, I've had a lot of fun with it. I really had no desire to do anything about fish. I honestly, to tell you the truth, I forget the chain of events that led me up to even thinking about doing this. I think somebody mentioned the word funky fish. Please, um, you know, please take credit. But we were talking about all these printouts and stuff and these kind of wacky looking kind of characters and creatures and adding body, uh, body, <laughs> body parts. And then somebody in the chat brought up funky fish. And I go, oh my gosh, that's such a cute name. And then it just kind of snowballed from there. So that's why I mean, you know, when I get the um, feedback from you guys, it inspires me and then just kind of, you know, goes from there. So anyway, funky fish. And um, so I just put a little peekaboo for him because he kind of, don't they do that sometimes? They're in the ocean and they're hiding behind things. And then you move something, wow, there they are, they get you. So I thought that was kind of um fun thing to put there and this was just a napkin and then I just kind of highlighted it and you know how it goes you know how it goes and then um I already had this piece we didn't do this together I already had it I had done this and it was on um on a canvas on, on a board and everything on a frame I should say and um and so I just ripped it off of the little canvas I mean off the little frame and then I just glued the the canvas on there. And I had just done a little bit of um, gluing down of different papers that we had done together. And then I put that on there. Then this guy over here um, was, you know, I don't know, one of the fishes, one of the many fishes that are in all these printout stuff. And then this guy, whoops, this guy was that printout that we had. So that's how we got his head. And these were just um, also napkins that we put down on the page. And um, I'm getting confused if I already had this or if this is one of the pages that Darla sent me because she sent me a lot of cool stuff. And um, so this might have been on one of the pages that Darla sent me. And this one, I really, really enjoyed this one. If you guys weren't here for that one, it was a lot of fun. This picture went to like the middle, just to the middle of the page. And then we continued. We we colored in here and made um, that landscape go all the way across the page. And um, did this little fold out thing and there's the mermaid 
And I thought that was a really fun little thing. Of course, you could, you know, put anything in there. But that was fun to do that one. So I got space. This one here is also one of the printouts. I just put different heads on the body and other parts of the fish. And so that was kind of fun to do. This came out of that um, page from the large book. Everybody got a piece of that large book uh, and it had different um, larger fish on it. And so I just chopped the head off of the fish. And then I had an old print out that I'd done the wrong size. So I put it there, took the parts that I cut out of the head and glued it up here on top on the top of his head. That's what that, that eye comes from is the other part of this fish. And then this was part of the printout and just put it there as the bottom part of his body. Haven't finished this page. I was playing around with it yesterday. And this um, here, I believe this was from Darla. I'm telling you, I forget where my stuff comes from because she sent me some really cool stuff that can go in the journal. And then I also was looking through the stuff that I had in my pile. And then in my brain, I confused, I convoluted the two, but I'm pretty sure this was, I think I'm pretty sure these two right here was from stuff that Darla had sent me. This came from this printout that, that I sent you guys. And, um, And then what I did is I stuck her heads, her heads in the fish. <laughs> wah, wah. Okay. Peekaboo. But I need to do some outlining around the edges and some putting little shadows here and there and stuff. So this one isn't um, done yet. This just has the background. And this one, if you guys were with me, remember this took us like forever to figure out. But it's one of my favorite pages, you know, after it's all said and done. We had, um, I had already done these with some watercolor paper. And then with the um, little cutout that we had, we, just, we um, traced out or made a sponge. I can't remember what we did. But it was with something else that was in the um, kit. And then um, just got some cardboard and put some of my jelly prints on the cardboard and then put the heads and the bodies on there. And then once we did that, um, we had to find a home for them. <laughs> and so there was a home for one. And then we were trying to figure out these little pocket things and how to do it. So then I ended up getting these little pla uh, plastic um I don't know what they are, but anyway, I had a bunch of these and then we um, glued down some of the napkin and it looked really cool because obviously, it, you know, you can see through it and then you can slide the other one in there and the same thing here. These were all, like I say, just napkins that we glued onto this and these are just little fun little things that we did. Woo! <laughs> Yeah, cool pocket. There you go. <laughs> I don't know the name for anything that I do. <laughs> I just make it up as I go. And then I wasn't quite sure how to secure these because, you know, double-edged tape gets kind of tricky when you're putting things in and out. And we're already dealing with stuff that was kind of sticky. So I just put it down with some little brads. And that's what's holding this down. And that's also what's holding down the pockets. Because I thought if I just um, did some kind of glue or tape, you know, these were kind of thick and it was going to be getting a lot of movement and pressure. So I figured, oh, well, just put a brad down, be done with it. Not, not worry about it. And I put one in the bottom because these were going through. And so this way, nothing. If you put something behind there, if you put something um later on behind there it won't go through 
shape. So just trying to think ahead. So that was a fun page to do. It took forever, but I think it's kind of cool. And then this was the first page we did way back when. And that was fun. The little, the little puppet guy fish. That was fun to do. And that's it so far. So I basically can do one, two, three, four, five, six. See, there's still a lot to be done in here. Six. And if I wanted to, even seven. So it's about half done. So I'll continue, you know, playing with it. And then maybe when I get it completely done, then I'll do another flip through whenever that happens. <laughs> you know how that goes. <laughs> you start a new project and like, oh, my gosh, I never finished the other one. But um, but it was a lot of fun to do. So anyway, so if you're going to be working with a block like this of the book and you took it out of something else. Um, what's happening? She must have tea and crackers. <laughs> oh, this isn't a marathon. Look, it's, it's already done. I'm not doing six pages tonight. Another night. So we'll glue this down in here. And, um, and this was originally, like I said, for the other book. So it's kind of short for here. So I think I might put some a little piece of paper or something just so I'm not like really trying to get it so close. Or maybe another piece of fabric. What should I do? What to do? What to do? I don't know if I have any more of this. Let's see here in my pile. Oh, but I do have some of that. I got this big old pile here just for the for the fishy stuff and one thing i got and i did not use i'll show you guys because when we're able to get out and about again i didn't include it because um right when all this happened or it was starting to happen um they said, oh, it won't come in for a couple of weeks or whatever it was they were saying. And then it never came in at all. Let me find that. What I thought was kind of, <laughs> kind of cool. This was, um, this, well, maybe I should do that now. This was at the Dollar Tree. All right. And so my harebrained idea, I mean, it's a dollar, right? No, we weren't going to use the comb. We weren't going to use that. And I really wasn't going to use her that much. But I thought, wouldn't it be cool, you know, like if you glued her down or did wire or something, and then to kind of mute her all down, you um, covered her up with tissue paper so that you could gesso her. So now she's just like one color. And then do something really funky with her. Whoops, there's something around her neck. Oh, hold on. Operation time. Maybe we should do that. We'll get a vote. I don't know. What should we do? See, there you go. See how I am? I had a, I had a plan. And now I whip something else out. And it's like the plan just went out the window. <laughs> Did you did you see how fast that happened? I had a plan. I had told you what we were going to do, laid it all out, and now look what's going on. I didn't want to cover that up because remember we had we have the fish thing going. Um maybe we don't need her body. Maybe we just need this. Okay, don't look everybody. You have to do a mer mermectomy. A mermect what would you what would you call that? Oh oh oh! It was very easy. Sorry, sorry, Charlie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I got two of those for my scavenger hunt. Oh. 
Oh, see, now wouldn't this look cool? Now if I just put um, um, clear tissue paper over that, because then it would keep all little grooves and stuff. And then kind of, I don't know, maybe wire. Oh, it could, oh, it could even be flat. Oh, no, but that doesn't come apart. Hold on. It doesn't have to be all that dimensional. Ah. Ah. Okay, let's see what happens. I think the fin's keeping it together. You'll only have one fin because the fin's in one piece. Because I was thinking glue one in the... Oh! Oh, well, that answered that. I was going to say glue one in the back, one in the front and one in the back, but you only have one fin. Okay, but we got cardboard, right? All right. Oh, where's it? Okay. Hey, how does that go? I don't know. I think something fell off. But that's okay. That's what they made glue for. Okay, so. No, but I wanted it to go back and forth. It won't, it won't do the. How do I get it? I know you're probably all hollering at me. Do this, do that. I right, probably won't be able to go back and forth. So that's okay. So, but anyway, we'll glue that down somehow. Yeah, I think maybe if it was still together, maybe it would. You know, it has that little bit of lift. Uh, still doesn't work that well, even with... Oh, well. Okay, so. I'm kind of liking the idea. What do you guys think? <laughs> oh, you guys are liking it. Okay. Wire it, Rosemary. Yeah. Okay. What about the sardine can? Oh, where is my sardine can? Oh. It's, it, it's kind of big. It's kind of big. Oh, but wouldn't that look cool? Wrap her all up. Like a mummy in a, in a can. And then wire that in there so that can move somehow, maybe. And then what should we have coming out of her? I don't really want, I don't, I don't want something, you know, something that I was going to say, something that looks real. Ah, that really looks real. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't <laughs> Uh, I want it to be altered. Um, hmm. What do we have that could go? Maybe nothing. I mean, let me look in my pile. You know I've got a pile right here. How much junk that could possibly work? I'm not saying it will, but it's possible. It's very possible. Hmm. Let me get my other box. Unfortunately, I have two boxes full of all this junk. The box that was supposed to be for me to play with, and then all the stuff I put in there for you guys. 
Oh. It could be like, like what? Oh, it could be really kind of gross and <laughs> Gross. It could be like just a it could just be a carcass of a dead mermaid, right? Who said it's gotta be real? I mean the whole body. Or Because it's not going to stay that color. Remember that. I'm going to change it somehow. So don't think it's going to stay that green color. Maybe something like that. Or maybe... Maybe something like that. Or maybe it's growing seaweed out of her. <laughs> the seaweed's going to grow out of her. I don't know. What do you guys think? I know. I'm giving you too many options. Okay, I better start reading. <laughs> huh. Oh, what did Elizabeth say? That's what I was thinking, Elizabeth. What did Elizabeth say? Plastic aquarium plants. That's about the closest I have to plastic aquarium plants. Seaweed. Okay. Yeah, it needs to wiggle. That is for sure. I'll have to make a little hole in there. Yeah, that's a must. That's a must. What else? Get her. Fish bones. I have no fish bones, Jennifer. Fish bones. Frida. What? <laughs> Put Frida in here. What are you talking about? Um. Oh, dear. You're gonna have to. I I just I just put together like over fifty orders. So Nana, you're gonna have to remind me what you ordered. <laughs> They're not on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> Who ordered what and when it went out? And blah, 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 blah. if you know what I mean, I'm a little um, I'm a little exhausted. Mean, if you knew what I've been doing the past three days, uh, yeah. You'd know I wouldn't remember anything right now. <laughs> what did you order and when did you order it? Question number one. Oh. Those, those went out. I'll, um, I, I'll check once we get off. All those things already went out. So, um, yeah, long time ago. Unless there was another issue that I can't remember right now. But I'll double check once we get off. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So, what do you think? Okay, if I got a payment, they're gone. Yeah, for sure. Yes, ma'am. They are gone. They don't sit around after I get a payment. That's for sure. 
but I'll double check when that was so we can kind of see what, you know, if there's an issue as far as the mail. Okay, so, all right, I don't have... I don't have any more, any, I mean, I don't have anything else, you know, fishy, like seaweed type thing, except for this. That's all I have. I've got, um, I've got this stuff that could come off her tail if we wanted something long. I've got some of this kind of stuff that could be somewhere if we need it to be. I got this stuff. Um, I have little small um, shells if we wanted to do something with that. Um, 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 um. Um, <laughs> uh, what else? Can I be included or did I miss it? Um, Tanya, what are we talking about? Uh, did, okay. Included in, let I me, mean, did I miss something? See, I miss things too much. No fish in the baby like to run around. Can I be included? Okay, Tanya, I need to know what you want to be included in. I'm sure the answer is yes, but I don't want to say yes until I know it isn't something illegal. <laughs> Would the yellow net look like a veil placed behind the mermaid? Oh, maybe. Behind. What about the green sparkly material on the Oh, that's right. What about that? I'll get that right now. I'll get a piece. Tail, yeah. Oh, tail. Oh, oh, yes. Um, <laughs> Tanya goes. <laughs> Tanya, you are so funny. Now, see, that's a dangerous question. Good thing you're in a safe spot. <laughs> Can I be a part of that? Well, yeah, let's go rob the bath now. <laughs> uh, okay, let me go find a piece of that. <clears throat> Go find a piece of that. Oh. So, ooh, maybe the whole darn body. Oh my gosh. No, I don't think, because it's not going to, you can't get the real shape. Good idea, but bad idea at the same time. Okay, but this is a good idea. Just glue that down. Well, I think this is a winner, even though we don't know the rest of what we're going to do. I think this is definitely something we should do. What do you guys think? That way I can glue it now and it can be drying while we figure out the rest of the contraption. Yeah, just the fin. Exactly. So let me just go ahead and glue that because it's going to take a while to dry. Even if I'm going to use the fabric tack. But let's just put that down and, um, 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 and let that dry while we figure all the other crazy stuff we need to do. So let me just... And it makes a mess. You guys that already cut this stuff, it really makes a mess. Because you're cutting all those sequences in half. 
see all that mess. Woohoo! Okay. Let me get, before we start gluing and making a mess, let me get this out of here. I don't want to mess this up. It looks like that's not going to happen tonight either. <laughs> if we play with this, like we won't have time once we get it all down. So, well, there went that plan. There went that plan really fast. Yeah, confetti is right. Oh dear. Come on. Boy, this guy doesn't want to come out. I need more than that. Come on, guys. I need a lot, a lot. Because this little puppy is going to be touched and move and everything. I'll punch the hole out later. Yay! Yay! Okay. I think that'll work. Now we'll just set that aside and let that dry. Okay. All right. Enough of that. Okay. Next. That was easy enough to decide. Now we're back to this. Back to the main thing. So, <laughs> how about a shell belt around the waist? A shell belt. I don't have anything smaller than this as far as the size of. size of shells. Muddy dancing slippers. What am I missing out on? On the leg part. Huh? Leg part? Who's got a leg? Avocado bag. My avocados do not come in bags. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Who's got a leg? <laughs> oh. <laughs> she don't need no stinking legs. All right. Let's get this out of the way. And let's just concentrate on this. Okay, so first things first. I think I'm going to put, because I don't want her to be, I don't want her to be this translucent green thing. Um, so I'm going to put some, um, what you call it on her, just some napkins on there so that we can paint her or give her a glaze or something. And it'll be a lot easier than trying to paint that. So let's do that now. Let's do the stuff that needs to dry. 
Um, let me get the backing to a napkin. Let's do what we know for sure and then haggle around what we have no idea what we're doing. That sounds like a plan to me. I don't know, ladies. I just got a notice yesterday that my um, Tuesday morning is open. I think something like from 10 to 5 or something like that. That's not stuck on there. Just check in what we can move, what we can't move. So if you have a plastic that, you know, you're having trouble having paint stick to it, just glue one of the napkin liners to it, and then you'll be able to paint the napkin. It solves all your problems. Well, well almost all of them. Slip and slide. And you don't have to worry, what kind of paint sticks to this? Well, <coughs> all paint will stick to your paper. Problem solved. There might be other solutions, but this is, for me, the quickest. Quickest, easiest, cheapest. Oops, came off the end because my dumb finger had glue on it. We can patch it up, no problem. Oh, and I wanted to talk to you guys about something. Um, I was just telling my husband that I really missed my, um, oops. I really missed having the uh, workshops that I have here at on my studio here. And obviously we can't be having them. So I was just lamenting, oh, I miss it, miss it. So then I was thinking later, Okay, well, I have, I know I'm, I'm jumping way ahead, but I'm just uh, a stream of consciousness here. Um, I'm just now, you know, tomorrow I'm going to be sending out the, the kits that you guys bought for the industrial. So I'm already getting ahead of myself to the next month because um, 
you know, I have to plan way ahead when I'm doing these things. So we're going to be uh, doing um, cyanotype uh, next, not in, in, rah, 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 rah. the next kit is going to be based around cyanotype printing. I was going to be having a workshop here in my studio that has been canceled for obvious reasons. So I had all the supplies and they're not cheap. <laughs> And I said, holy moly, what am I going to do with these? And I said, hey, I'm going to put a kit together for the ladies, and we're going to do cyanotype. Okay, so for those of you that are unfamiliar with the cyanotype, it's the old way of producing or developing pictures, and um, which eventually when more sophisticated ways of developing became, you know, commonplace, the technique still stuck around. And that is what the original um, blueprints, the ones that are really blue, um, that's how they were done with the same technique, same chemical, same everything as the cyanotype. Um, so what we're going to do is you're going to be getting um, the papers already with all the chemicals to do the cyanotype. And this is going to take me a little while to do because I have to put all the chemicals on the paper. I have to do it in the dark. I have to package them in the dark, keep them in the dark <laughs> because as soon as they hit light, they're going to start developing. So it's a little process, you know, um, it's, you know, it's a, a little bit of work, um, but what I would love we could do, and, you know, it's obviously up to you guys. What I think would be super fun is whoever gets the kits on a predetermined day, we'll do a live together. And then we'll just all be on here, even if it takes all day, the same way I would do a regular workshop here. But we would just be doing it with the kit of the cyanotype. And the reason... We can do it with that is because the process of um, putting it, you're going to put it out in the sun and it's going to develop and the actual developing time, um, you know, and you'll have sun because that'll be, May, that'll be June um, is anywhere from three to seven minutes. So in real time, you know, I can work, you know, walk you along, show you exactly how to do it. We'll all do it together. Then, you know, we'll have a potty break and we'll all run outside and go put our things outside. If we don't have an outside to go to, um, if you have a window that is, you know, the, is facing the sun during that time of the day, you can sit it outside. No, I'm not outside, but, you know, next to the window or on the table next to a window, you, you know, if you're not in a situation where you can be outdoors and be safe. Um, and like I say, we can be doing this all together at the same time. And I don't know, I just thought that would be fun. Because it's something we could do together. Because it take it doesn't like um, requiring, you know, having certain tools that you may not have, or not have the time. Because even if you just did that one thing with us together, um, it doesn't take that long at all. So I thought that would be kind of something fun that we could plan on doing. And um, and if you don't think it's a good idea, well, you have a problem. Because <laughs> I think it's a wonderful idea. <laughs> but, you know, even those that can't join us during the, whatever time we decide on, I mean, they're, the, you know, the video is always there. You can go back to, I'll post it in, in the group. And then what I thought would be kind of cool, you know, a lot of you are, you know, techy enough that you got several windows open. And so what we could do as we're doing this here on YouTube, um, you could be taking some photographs of your developing things you're doing and then real time go and post them in our Caboodle Facebook group. And then we can kind of be going back and forth and we can see what everybody's doing. And I thought, oh, I thought that was a good idea too. So. Those of you that don't agree, well, too bad. <laughs> you don't have to play with us. Let me dry this. 
But anyway, it was just a thought. I mean, either way, you know, I'm here, I'm doing it live, I'm doing it with you. But I just thought it'd be pretty cool if we were all prepared with our stuff and we did it together and shared, you know, what was going on. And that way, if you have questions, you know, I can answer them right then and there because, you know, you're you know, working on it or whatever. Okay, watch your ears. Okay, I was busy doing this while I was asking you questions, so maybe I should look up and, and see what you got. If anybody likes the idea, if you don't like the idea. Um. Let's see. You better get a chat. <laughs> I'm oh, yeah. Okay, you, you are hired, Susan. That day... You're going to be in there with me and you're going to be telling me or yeah, you're going to be let me know what everybody's saying because I, you know me. I can't do that. Can you ship? Can, I'm not shipping the chemicals, Janice. I have all the chemicals and I am mixing the chemicals myself and I am putting the chemicals on the um, on the paper. You are going to get pre-treated paper. All you got to do is follow my direction and you're ready to go. Hey, Debbie. Um, so what was your question, Rosemary? Oh, Darla, I have no idea what my question was. <laughs> you got me at a bad moment already. I remember Shannon Green. Did, oh, please. Shannon Green, please don't tell me that Shannon Green did this already. Um, did I use her? What? Oh, dear. What are we making right now? What are we making? See, that's the thing. I'm making one thing and we're talking about a different thing. <laughs> we're making the cover to our caboodle, our funky fish um, altered book. We weren't going to do that, but that's what we're doing now. Okay. Found quite a few in the chat. Mich All Michigan people. Yay. So do not open your kitchen, your kit and the like. No, I'll have full directions on what to do, what not to do when that time comes. Yeah, definitely no. Um, okay. So who was that that said that? Peggy. So what did Shannon do? Fill my ears. What did Shannon do? Because she's like one of the biggest ones been bugging me to, to do the, well, a couple of months ago. Well, yeah, it was probably more like the fall saying, when are we going to do it? When are we going to do it? When are we going to do it? And of course, you know, life took over and now mm, we can't do it here. So, oh, that's almost dry. Almost dry, people. Let me see what else. Huh? One of, oh, you want one of my clay dolls in there instead of this? Maybe the head part. Oh, maybe if I decapitate one of those, I can 
Oh. Okay, I can handle that. I like where this is going. This thing's in the way. Uh oh, maybe I did the wrong one. I should have done. Uh oh. Let's see which one works better. I'd have to cut them off and sit it right in there and then it would work. Same thing with this. Cut it, sit it in there. I mean, when you're a mermaid, you don't need arms. So I could cut that off and sit it in there. Hmm. This is the same size, right? Yeah, it's the same size. Oh, wow, that's freaky. <laughs> okay. Is that the same size? Mm -hmm. A little bit different. Well, I got the bottom with no head. Oh, we could put something really weird in there. Okay, so. So these are about the same size. So these are a little bit different in size. Okay, what are you guys saying? I got to read. You know, Elizabeth, it's pretty much the same chemical um, of this. I mean, they call it Sun Prince, but that's the, um, that's the chemicals that's being used. So, um, It's probably pretty much the same thing that you did. And so with what we're going to do, um, I'm going to give you a sneak peek. Where's my stuff? Where's my stuff? Oh, here it is. Because I can't decide on that yet. Okay, this, let me, let me go get it. I 
I gotta see if I'm going in the right direction with you guys, you know, because you know. <laughs> I mean, because if I like it and you guys don't like it, what's the point? <laughs> so what you have, what you would normally do is you would have um, some kind of like a uh, a board of some kind or a, you know, plywood or or something something that's pretty stiff in the background. And then you would have either a piece of glass or a piece of plexiglass. And um, and then you would wedge that paper and whatever it is you're gonna print with it um, in between the two. And then you sit it out and it does its thing for X amount of time and yada, 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 yada. So um, we were going to do that here, but that's not feasible for me to get, you know, all those pieces of plexiglass, which I can't get out to go get them or glass or this or that or whatever. But what I did have and I tested it to make sure that it worked. Um, I have. I have a bunch of these. Woo, mermaid overboard. I have a bunch of these little clipboards. Aren't they adorable? Okay, so I have a bunch of these. I have a bunch of these. All this is, it's, it's really big. It's acetate. They're big. They're big. And so what I did is I cut one of these apart. I clipped it in here. And I put my paper. Oops, wrong order. I put the um, the paper with the chemical, and I put the flower because I did the I did flowers. It's the easiest thing to do in my yard anyway. And put it in there, clipped it in here, put it out in the sun, waited the amount of time, kept watching it and see what was happening. And wambo bango, it worked. So you don't have to have the glass. You don't have to have the plexiglass. You don't have to have that whole big gizmo. This works just fine. And then afterwards, after we use it for, for doing this, then we're going to turn this into um, a cover to a journal. And it's going to be super cool. Okay. So we're going to use everything and it's going to be transformed. I've been collecting um, some napkins that to me have that color of the cyanotype in it. Those are going to be incorporated in it. And you're going to get a couple of pages of um, um, some handmade paper, some interesting things. I want this to be kind of more artsy as opposed to, you know, fun like we've been doing with the other stuff. And I have, a, I have a plan. I have a plan. And I think it'll work. And here are a couple of the ones that using, using the tools I just explained to you, um, these were some of the ones that I got done. So I know it works. So it isn't like I'm going to be sending you stuff that, oh, dear, you know, Rosemary's making up these crazy things. We don't even know what's going to work. But the, they printed just fine. So, um, so anyway, so that's the plan for June, right? Did I say that right? This is the June plan. And so we're going to do like a virtual workshop together. And there's another thing called wet cyanotype. Now, because this is. Oh, you know, I'm not going to get in all this. It's a whole, that's all part of the workshop. Never mind. I didn't say anything. So anyway, this is the plan. So um, I'm going to put it together. And, um, and because I can't, um, what, how am I trying to say it? When I put the chemical on the, on the paper, I, I can't um, have the chemical sit on the paper, like, you know, for, for months, you know, so whatever I make, I need to use in a relatively, you know, 
timely fashion. So I'm going to need to know from you guys, in, you know, not right now, but in the coming days and weeks, how many people are interested. So I know how many papers I need to put the chemical on because I don't want to do more than what I need. And I need to do as much as I need, because if people come in afterwards of uh, the chemical, once I mix it up, it has to sit for 24 hours. And once I it sit, then I have to put it on the paper and that, you know, has to dry and it has to can't be developed for like 48 hours. And there's a lot of time element involved. So it's kind of tricky. Um, doing it how we're going to do it. But if you guys cooperate and let me know, you know, who's going to be interested and not be interested at the last minute <laughs> because I won't have enough of the pages with the chemical on there. And then I have to be rushing to get those done. I mean, I'll have some extras. I always do extras, but it isn't like I can have a lot of extras because then I'll have to use them myself before, you know, before the time's up. If all that makes sense to you guys, I hope so. So anyway, keep all that in mind. Don't tell me, you know, don't say, put me on the list now. I can't do that right now. But um, keep it all in mind. Those of you that are in the uh, in the Facebook group, you know, you can go ahead and, you know, comment and I can get a feel for what you guys are thinking. Anyway, so, oh, not this, the other thing. Okay, so Back to what we were doing in the first place. What happened to my, um? uh-oh, did I just put it, uh-oh. Oh, here's my can. <laughs> so what did we decide? <clears throat> what, as far as body parts, did, what, did we decide on a body part? Did we decide on, you know, this kind of stuff? What did we decide on? What did we see? We are working on funky. <laughs> yes, we're working on the funky. Tomorrow, everybody that paid for the industrial kit, they're all packed. They're actually in my vehicle as we speak. Um, they'll be gone tomorrow. Uh, and yeah, and now we're advertising the, the kit for June. Yes, I'm just, you know. Excuse me for thinking ahead. Make a fake beginner. Okay, well. Uh-oh. What did Miranda say? Shut it. Okay, Susan, be nice. Okay. Can two dolls fit? Oh, can two of them fit? Two of the no. No, one barely fits. <clears throat> yeah. One's barely gonna fit in there. I think the body shape of this one fits better. It it um it seems to be a little more the same scale. Don't you think? And probably at that position right there is where I need to cut it. Right at the gut. About right there. Don't want to see the hands because it'll look goofy. So about, about right there. I think. Okay. Um. <laughs> Black Friday. <gasps> um. <laughs> Look who's talking, Johnny. Uh-oh. Somebody's driving crate. Oh, my goodness. It almost sounded like there was going to be a crash outside. You know how when you hear the brakes go really, they really step on the brake? It, I was waiting to hear. <laughs> Fortunately, we did not. Okay, so, no, we're not doing the bass because it's not big enough. That's going to have to be a separate journal. 
the spine is not big enough. We're going to have to use this one. So, so I guess the next thing is for me to put a little bit of gesso on there or white paint or whatever. Because I need to, I want to get rid of the green for now. If we decide to do some kind of a green, that's fine. But I don't want it see-through like that. You can't maybe see through it, but I can see right through it. And I don't want, I don't want to be able to do that. Okay. So. Oh man, I can't open this. Ow, ow, ow. I'm having problems over here, you guys. Anyway, um, for you guys that have the industrial kit in your cart in my ah, in my um Etsy. I've got 25 people that have it in their cart, and I think I have like about six left. So, you know, I'm just saying, if you're serious, <laughs> you better get serious. Because I think there's maybe seven. I forget now. And I have to switch the, the number. I think there was more up there than there actually is. So, I forgot to do that. I'm glad I mentioned it because I forgot to do that. But anyway. Um... And if if anybody wants me to make any other ones, I have some of the stuff. I don't have all the stuff. So I can make plenty more, but they will not be identical to the others. All the rest of them are the same. See how easy that is? And you still have all of the, because the paper is so thin, you still have all the texture of the scales. Might need two coats. I still see a little bit of the green from my end. Oh. I can already tell we're not going to get this done tonight. <laughs> I just have a feeling. <laughs> I should have put um should have put the paper in there too or did I? It'd have been easier to cover up. Nope, there's not paper because you can see it's beating up and it's not covering up. See what a mess it would have been out in the front if I hadn't done that. Okay. Dry that up a little bit. Two pickle bags. <laughs> the Tanya. What was Tanya asking? Where is Tanya? She's dying here. Okay, sorry about that, Tanya. <laughs>
That warmed up. Pretty warm. I probably should have put the paper inside too. I think that that green when the light hits it, it's like glowing. It'll be okay. I'll just put one more coat and I think we'll be all right. And then we'll end up putting something on top of it too. So yeah, Peggy doesn't care about the kit. She just wanted those pickle bags. <laughs> It looks better already as far as that glow from behind. Oops. Oh, what? Ah! Thank you. Paint on the cover, Rosemary. Paint on the cover. Paint on the cover. Paint on the cover. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now it's just a round bubble. <laughs> okay. Catastrophe avoided. Thank you. Get out of there. Oh, mermaid overboard. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> you got that right, Debbie. Okay. Do we know what we're doing yet? I, I don't have a clue. I honestly don't know what we're doing next. Okay, so oh well, I gotta chop I gotta chop a body part off. And it's not gonna be pretty. I think I need to chop him about right there. I think, I don't know. Well, I got to find something I can cut this with. Because I don't want it to like to break where I don't want it to break. Let me go see if I actually have a little, a little knife. Well, probably the exact knife. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I think it needs to be a little, a little perforated. I mean, not perforated. What's the word? What's it called? Because <laughs> that exacto knife scares me. This is um, 
clay. In case you're wondering what I'm cutting. And no, this isn't a magic trick. This is for real. <laughs> There's no secret box underneath. And I hope you, nobody thinks I'm doing a vasectomy or something. And I'm not being sacrilegious to any, any religious group. Hey, I wonder if I'm lucky if the feet were sticking out. Oh, that's even cooler, guys. Oh, dear. <laughs> there we go. Okay, let's see now. Uh-oh. I'm going to have to shave a little bit off his arms so he can sit in there. Oh, dear. Here we go. See, this is, <laughs> see all this? This is my husband's fear. That's why he, that's why he controls his diabetes. <laughs> Appendage and envy. He wants to keep them all. Okay. So let's see. Let's see how this works. Oh, we're getting closer. Oh, we might be there. Just a little shave here and there. Beautiful. Ta da, there she is. Now her arms look a little too weird. Gonna round them off a little bit. She looks a little too, uh, what was that movie star? Mommy Dearest One. Who was that? And a little bit too much of her shoulders. <laughs> what are you clenching your teeth for? I'm the one with the knife issues. What's your problem? Okay, I think we're done. I think I'm done with the knife. Everybody's safe. Okay. All right, so now... Oh, I got to probably stick him in there and glue him. We have to decide now the colors of the body, what we're going to do. If we're going to keep it kind of muted. Let's put all these body parts over here before people start talking. Okay, so now is the upper body and the lower body going to be the same color? Should I paint this before I glue it? So that, you know, we don't have cross-contamination of the colors. 
um, all that fun stuff. What are we doing? And, you know, is this a girl? Is it a guy? Does it matter? Do we care? Oh, and then, oh, and we got this thing over here. Oh, my gosh. Let's cut that up and see what this is starting to look like. Pretty cool. Yep, I hear my doggy out there barking. My my old senior citizen dog, he's been having fun today, but he's outside almost all day long having fun, barking at all the squirrels. Couldn't chase him, but he barked at him. He was getting ferocious. Ooh, looking pretty good. And then well, I have, whoops, what I have to do is I have to make a little hole right there. And of course, you've already got that right there. I'll punch a hole through that. And that way, it can move up and down. So we have to keep this in mind when we figure all the colors for all this stuff. I mean, you might want to keep it kind of monotone because this is so bright. I don't know. Or we can get some of those, um, those, you know, those, you know what I'm talking about? Those um, color shifts. <gasps> color shifts on here. Wouldn't that look okay? Okay. Let's try it. And if we don't like it, Hey, that's what they made paint and brushes for. We can just paint right over it and say, oh, that's ugly. Okay. And that'll just, you know, prolong the agony for another, you know, half hour. <clears throat> Okay. 
Okay, so I have ooh, blue flash. And then I've got the let's see. I've got a green, I've got a blue. Let's stick with those colors or else, you know, we might get too crazy. So now what? Color Shift is really cool paint. It's acrylic and basically it's got a metallic in it. And so when it's painted on something, literally, as you can see there, the color shifts depending how the light hits the, I guess it's some kind of micas that are in the paint. And they look super cool. Basically, it looks like you're looking at grease on the ground when water hits it. <laughs> That's the way I like to explain it. That's what it looks like to me. So should we paint this black first? We have something dark and then put this and it might kind of sort of kind of sort of sort of mimic that. What should we do? Maybe we should test it on something else and see what kind of colors we want it to be. So we're not doing this a hundred times. Why don't we do that? That's the smart thing to do. I know I don't always do the smart thing, but let's do it. Let's let's test it on here. Let me get some black. And if see if we want straight or if we want it with little brushes. <clears throat> or if we need a background. We'll figure it out really fast. We'll do half and half and see which way it looks better. You're one sick puppy. That's why I like you. Okay. Let's just go all the way up one side. That way we can judge. Okay, let's dry that. Looks almost dry already, but let's let's see. All right, you guys afraid of the knife? See, I'm not afraid of those knives. Exacto knife, I don't like. That I don't like. Whoa. Ooh, it's already getting kind of wacky looking. Oh, I think it already looks better without the black, huh? For this anyway. And if we put a little bit of green on it. It 
bit too much. Well, I should have let that dry first. So, what do you think? Without the black, right? Yeah, it changed. It turns it almost like a purple when you do the black. Okie dokie. That answers that one. One less thing to do. Let's see what this does. We have to let that dry. Watch your ear bobs. Hot. Oh, that gives it some cool shine. I don't know if you can see it, but oh, I have my autofocus off, so it's not going to. I think that's going to look pretty cool. Yeah, I think it's going to work. I think, I think, I think. So, a little, those three without the black. I think it'll work. Okay. So let's do the body first, I guess. Yeah. 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 Oh, let me get my brush. Clean the brush. And by the way, we still don't know what we're doing, right? As far as decorating, at least we get some color on it. Once we get some color, it might give us a little more direction. Who's going to 7-Eleven? Oh, you know, I've been, how long have I been saying? I've been in the mood for ice cream. Ugh. I want some ice cream. I might have to break down and just get some at the grocery store and hide it over here in, in my refrigerator in the studio because my husband loves ice cream and he can't have any. Oh, cool. You can see, Oh, look at that.
And look, it's even getting blotchy and everything. I love it. I'm not going to have to. I don't think I'm going to have to antique it. I was going to, you know, kind of age it. It's going to do it all on its own. Oh, cool. It's coming out better than I thought. I'll put a little bit of the green on there. Let's, let's dry that. After I put this down, I might have to put a little bit of the blue back and get, you know, some layers. Oh, it's going to complement it pretty good. Try it again. And now we'll put some of the dragonfly on it. And if those of you that haven't used this before, it's just like super, super fine glitter. And this is just, you know, the gluey part that you see. And then when it dries, it's clear with just the sparkles showing.
still a little bit wet. Now, if this was white all the way through, you know, if this was white itself, I would now come with a little bit of sandpaper and sand it and you'd really see the definition. But I think if I were to do that, the only thing that's going to be exposed is the green. And I don't want to do that. But um, that would look super cool. Maybe I could test it and see, huh? <laughs> but um, yeah, if you could lightly sand that it would look so cool i don't know i'm tempted i'm tempted but oh well let's just leave it alone for now oh very cool wonga wonga very cool okay so i guess we're going to do the same thing with the body part or are we doing the body part i mean yeah the upper, the torso, are we doing that? Are we leaving that more the same? Are we doing it a different color? What are we doing? What are the votes? Do I see any votes? I don't see no votes. Yeah, I could repair it, right? Well, I think it would look cool. Try it, try it. Oh, uh, where is it? Now, what I was wondering, and don't start laughing at me. Don't start laughing at me now. Let me see. I see this in my head and it works, but you know how those things are. Then when you do it, you go, oh my gosh. That's a loser. Okay, now, for some reason, I see her as this, like, you know, in the movies, like a siren. And the wind is blowing. You got you to gotta listen to the whole story. The wind is blowing. And her hair is flowing. But I don't know if it'll work. And then she just might look like a bridesmaid. I don't know. It's too thick. It's too much. But do you know what I'm talking about? Too much. <laughs> wow. Okay, let, let's see if it works in the tomb. It may not work. That's okay. It won't hurt my feelings. And she's off. So you can almost smell the sea air because now you can see motion, right? <laughs> yeah, she does need a trim. <laughs> Take the hair off the original doll. Well, why didn't I think of that? Oh, my goodness. And now, now I'm going to say something that sounds really funny <laughs> after just taking this off. <laughs> but I was going to say, this looks too fake. <laughs> I know. I know what I just said. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, dear. 
too much. Okay, so. <laughs> Stick this. No, it, it's too fake. Then I'm going to have to, if I do that, I'm going to have to napkin her, her whole body. You see, this looks too cartoony. <laughs> I don't want it to look like a cartoon. I want it to look more ethereal. Just the head. No. How am I just going to put just her head? She's got to have a bot. I mean, she's got a, a torso. Even this. Even this one has a torso. <laughs> Add seat weed with, oh, okay. I like how you think. Of course, not this big, but, you know, I don't want to cut it quite yet. And yes, it, you know, she could have a haircut. Oh, yes, she's coming out. She's being born. The resurrection. Okay. The womb. Oh, this is getting a little too deep. Okay. No, she doesn't need blue original hair. No. I don't know. Are we, are we getting anywhere? We forgot about her belt. <laughs> Antique the body. This part? Antique it with what? You mean just like any old, like, antique, antique? Oh, you want the body to look rusty. Holy moly. Turning it into a shrine. <laughs> Mother Sardine. Mother Sardinia. Oh. Mother Sardinia. <laughs> Come on now. Mermaids don't have bras. That's for, you know, buddy daddy people, not mermaids. They'd wonder, you know, if she went to the dark side, if she put a bra on. That's just for, that's just for Disney mermaids. This is a real mermaid. Okay. Okay, so I think first thing, oh, we're, we're getting something's getting lost here in the translation. Let's see here. Ah, what did I step on? Oh my goodness, the rest of her hair.
Okay, here comes the moment of truth. Let's see what happens. Oh no, I'm scared. I'm scared. There we go. Oh, I gotta push harder. I'm scared to push harder. And then I'm going to come back with, I have some, um, oh, that's what I'll do. I've got some dark wax, dark furniture wax. And maybe pick up on, on what I'm scraping back and that'll antique it a little bit and I'll put it on the body and see what happens. You guys can't see it yet, but you will in a second. No green yet. That's good. Still just getting the white paper. Well, maybe we're just getting the gesso. That's good. Can you see that yet? The sparkly's probably not letting you see the. Oh yeah, that looks nice. Okay. Yeah, scales look pretty cool. One full swoop, so let's we'll find out. Let me get a napkin. You know, sometimes you have your these projects that every step you take, you could ruin it. <laughs> I think that's what we've been doing with this one. Uh oh. Oh no. Let's see what happens. Oh, dear. Hold your breath. Always end up resorting to my fingers. I don't even know why I got that.
Pretty cool. I'm liking it. All right, here goes nothing with this guy. Let's see. Uh-oh. He just went black. <laughs> just so time. We'll have to just so him. I wanted to antique it, but it didn't get it soaked in because it's um I wasn't thinking it didn't have any paint over it. So it just sucked it up instead of gliding. This is just the clay. Okay, cover things up, Rosemary, before you make a mess. Cover things up before you make a mess. Now, if we want to put something over, it'll work better because it's got gesso on it. It's not as porous as before. Okay. Let that dry up a little bit. Why didn't I think of that? The shellacarama. Yes, that's what we'll do. Let's dry it up and then we'll shellacalack it. Excellent idea, Popo. That'll give Jennifer her rusty look. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Now, where's my shellac? I think I actually put it back where it belongs. Here you go, Unbelievable. I put it away. <laughs> How did that ever happen? Okay. So okay, let's 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 get the disaster waiting to happen out of the way. And for those of you new to Amber Shellac, shame on you. Oops, keyboard. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Oh, Popo, look at that. It's a perfect color. It's going to be perfect. Oh, my goodness. I don't want to mess up a brush because it gets kind of messy if you don't wash it right away. So. Ooh, those eyes are kind of creepy that way. Okay, but we'll fix that later. First layer first, and we'll worry about the rest later. Because those eyes look spooky. Look at those eyes. Woohoo. Spooky.
looks cool. Now, do we want to make him antique? Er. I could get my secret powder out of my vault from my from my gilding days. I wonder if we should do that. Well, let's see first. How is it looking like that? It's getting there. Okay, I'm going to go get my my secret aging dust and see what happens. I might ruin it. But, you know, we just do it all over again. We have tea. I have to get my itty bitty, bitty, itty itty bitty brush. How bitty? How bitty? About that and that itty bitty. I forgot. I wonder if he needs to be aged more. She, he, whatever this is. <laughs> Dona Maria to you.
Ooh, we're getting there. Okay. <sighs> what do you guys think? Are we getting there? Are we any closer? <laughs> Can I widen her body? No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not going to any clay action tonight. Hmm. I mean, if you're not um, having a fever, well, I was going to say, if you have a fever, at least you have an excuse. If you aren't running a fever, you have no excuse. There. <laughs> oh, yeah, my tool hair. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Where's your hair? Where'd her hair go? So what I probably need to do is cut it. Here, let me. I think I need to shred this stuff for it to work. If it's going to work. I don't know. I'm not convinced myself yet. What is going on here? Somehow that tore. Get rid of that. I don't know. I think I need to make some tea. What time is it? I feel like it's tea time. At least where I live. it into little shreds or cut it into little shreds. Oh dear. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. I think I gave you guys all the seashells. I don't know if I have any left. I'm telling you, some of these things I used every little last bit. And that's why when people say, oh, can I have a kit? Uh, sorry, no. <laughs> I mean, you can, but it's going to be incomplete. Let me see what kind of shells I have. Well, I have, well, no, I just got these. I got these little itty bitty ones. Let me see what else I have. Oh, I have these that weren't in the kit at all. But I didn't have enough of them. Let me open this up. And then I have these other little ones. I think those were in the kit. I already forget. Hey, this is like, you know, three kits ago. Two kits ago. When was this? I don't know.
We can call her Donia, Donia Mermaid. <laughs> For you uh, Spanish speakers. <laughs> Doesn't that resemble something in somebody's yard? <laughs> um. <laughs> That's a regional joke. All right, so. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, it's already 10.30 here, you guys. <laughs> Birth of Venus. <laughs> uh. Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, that's obvious. Oh, it could be a hat, too. And then I have smaller ones. That was the humongous one. I have one more the size of her head. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> oh, but she did. Oh, may, I think her hair's missing. Oh my gosh. How did that happen? <laughs> <All right. laughs> oh, we drove poor Debbie to bed. Good night, Debbie. <laughs> Kentucky Derby. <laughs> okay, believe it or not, now I'm stuck. I don't know what to do. I mean, I got the basics, right? We've got our body. We, ha we know what her tail's going to look like. Okay, let's just strip it all down to the basics and see where we go. Maybe I need to cut that off. That makes it look so big right there. Or maybe she just has big hips. I don't know. Put the shell on the bottom right with some shellac on it. Put the shell, what shell? On the bottom right. That shell? I'm not worried about all that. I'm worried about the body. Maybe we should just leave it simple. Maybe we're just getting too many things attach that maybe just have a few pieces of seaweed sticking out of her head
Daddy wants the knife whipped out again. <laughs> wrap her. Whoop, wrap her. Wrap her waist. I will put a big old bow, you know, a big old sash. No bow, just a sash. Oh, that makes a fashion statement. Look at that. Simple, but well stated. Fashionable, but not too gauche. Oh, I think that looks kind of cute. More dark wax on the body. Oh, dear. I don't know if I want that body getting all. Why do I want? Where? Where are we putting the dark wax? Oh, boy. I feel a disaster coming. Well, at least it's not sucking it up because we've got all kinds of stuff all over it. That's a good thing. Uh-oh, he just got a black nose. No, 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 I don't want your nose to be black. Oh, no. How come his nose got all black? <laughs> oh, no. Okay, you got a little bit more on there. Well, actually, a lot more on there. <laughs> now his body needs some more. <laughs> oh, maybe it needs a little bit of shellac on it. How come nobody told me to put some shellac on the body? Oh, my goodness. I swear, I have to think of everything.
Okay. A little shellac never hurt anybody. Hey, Deborah. And we have no idea what we're doing. We started off in 10 different directions. <laughs> but we're trying to figure out the cover to the Funky Fish book, Altered Book. And this is what we got so far. I think you need some of those can keys. Oh, I don't have any. I know what you mean, but practically everything I get has those pull up, pop up things. Like, um, where's my book? Everything I have just has the tab to open them up. If you have an old-fashioned key, you have my address. <laughs> or if you have a die cut, spam has them. I didn't think anybody had those anymore. Uh-oh. Jennifer doesn't know what she's talking about. She's telling me what to do. Oh, my gosh. And I'm listening to her. What the heck is going on? Okay, let's put a little more. Um, is this still damp? No, it's not damp. I was going to put a little. No, it's not sticking on there. Okay, so I think we've hit the proverbial blank wall here. Who eats what? Yeah, I haven't seen a key for years. I'd forgotten about him until you mentioned it. <laughs> they have spam cookbooks in Hawaii. It's quite the thing. They have spam. Spam um, Misubi, they have Spam Pizza um, at the uh, McDonald's in um, in Hawaii. You know how you can get the the um, the biscuit with a little sausage patty. Well, the other option is the the biscuit with um, grilled Spam. <laughs> Hamid doesn't like it. <laughs> you don't have to have it, Ami. Be thankful you have other choices. <sighs> Peggy. No, I'm just going to have to finish this off, 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 off. And I will just show you a flip throw.
the old flip through. Yeah, because I still have to figure out how I'm going to put this on. If I'm going to, yeah, I don't know yet. Too many things. <laughs> well, so I don't become redundant. I might just do a little, a little short video in the group and show you. Here it is. It's done. But. What we could do, because I'm kind of stuck here. I don't like to do things if it doesn't like hit me in the face. You know how you know how that is. So what we can do before we go is we can fill this puppy up with some stuff and glue that in so that tomorrow I can um, put in those little end papers. But I need to fill up that little gap because it's a little short there. My my backing. So so we'll just put a little bit of something something right there. Cover up the hole. Put some glue. Good night, Scotty. See, Elaine's happening. She says she likes she likes to spam. Oh, and I forgot. Some of you ladies, oh dear, I totally forgot. How long have we been here? Ah, I've got all of the uh, bark cloth all cut up. And some of you guys that were on the list, that asked to be on the list, some of you that I had your your PayPal information, I've already sent you an invoice. Some of you have paid. Um, and some of you I didn't have the information. So um, if I had your email, I contacted you. So if you have not gotten an email from me or a message or an invoice and you asked to be on the list, um, please contact me. Um, if you're on Facebook, contact me on Facebook. If you aren't on Facebook, I'll put my email in a second. Or if someone that has it can put it in there. And um, and then in the next day or so, whatever I have left, then I'll put on, on my Etsy. So if you don't contact me and you wanted it, but you didn't contact me, You'll have to hope that there's some left in Etsy to purchase. Because <laughs> almost half of them are already asked for. So. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I think I'll probably have to make a short little video showing... Showing the fabric for those that are unaware of what it is. And that way, if you want some, I mean, when you see it, you'll know if you want some or not. Otherwise, disregard this whole thing. Okay, so I think. What did I do here? This is all messed up. I don't have a straight edge out of this whole thing. That's so funny. Let me straighten this out.
And some of those pieces came up pretty big. There's there's um some two two or three of them are big enough to make a journal out of journal cover. It was supposed to be like a sampler, but they came up, some of them came out big enough. I had enough fabric to make it bigger. Okay, what did I do? Oh, here it is. <laughs> oh, wow, where's all that cool green stuff coming from and why? Very cool. Did I miss Leprechaun Day or what happened? Whoa, I hear my dog. The dog's excited. What are those things? Are those dinosaurs? <laughs> oh my goodness. Now, if this was a regular book, I'd reinforce this and everything, but because what we're putting in there is like so stiff already, and plus it's got fabric, it'll hold everything down pretty good. Plus, I kind of like the floppiness of it all. All right, so then I'm just going to put some glue on here and here. And I'm going to put some tape, a little bit of everything, and keep everything down nice in place while it's drying. There's the humongous. Look, that thing's come down. Remember how gigantic that thing was? Oh, did Peggy ever say what Shannon Green did? I missed that whole thing. Here I asked. And I never saw the answer. Is Peggy still here? Or does anybody remember what Peggy said? If she's not here? Oh, man. I went and... um. Oh, Shannon did something similar a few years ago. Similar to what, though? That was my question. Similar to what? What did she do? Oh, the sun photo imaging? Huh. I have to ask her about it. Because she's been asking me to hurry up and have the 
have the um the real workshop. She kept bugging and bugging me that she wanted to do it. I'll get I'll get the scoop. Maybe she was just playing me. <laughs> yeah, Rosemary, try it. Why don't you try it? All along. She knows. She knows how to do it already. She's a stinker that way. I wouldn't put anything past that girl. Super bath. When did that happen? Uh-oh, where's the end? Surprised my dog isn't barking to come in. It's a nice night out there tonight. Nice spring night. All right, more glue time. I know I'm off frame, but I got to be close to me here. <laughs> it has to be close to my body. So I can hold it up on my lap. I put some tape on it. Now I'm putting some more fabric tack. For some reason... I think maybe the hole on this fabric tack is too small. It takes forever to come out. And the last one, I made it too big and it just gushed out. I can never get that happy medium. Okay, put some more here because it's almost all dried up. Gonna do double whammy. And then I'll do the edges after the main part dries. Make sure I have it right side up. Ta da! That's always helpful. Make sure I get my doodads out of the way here, my danglies. And try my best to center it. I guess that's the center. If it's not, too bad. <laughs> too bad. Wow. It's super chunky already. And where is 
my sometimes when it's big and bulky like this I'll stick in something like this and just push push down because I don't want to open it all especially with all this artwork in here who knows what will happen Okay, we're going to let that dry, and then we're going to figure out what the heck we're doing with the front. So there we go. Yay! Let me get a big old something, like a rubber band. Because it's got such a big mouth, <laughs> unlike its owner. There we go. I'll keep that in place for a little while. Ta da! I don't know. We'll find out how this ends up. To be continued. <laughs> uh, I have those glue gun finger covers. What the heck is that? This? <laughs> those glue gun. Huh. What are we talking about now? I missed something important. Crafting naked. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I can't really see. Well, okay, we work with exacto knives, glue guns, hot glue guns, uh, you know, dark wax and shellac. I don't think so. Not to mention the sharp scissors. Paper cuts are bad enough on your fingers. Naked and afraid. I don't know anything about that. If they're naked and afraid, why don't they put clothes on and not be afraid? Danger zone. <laughs> you woke up Arlene, you guys. <laughs> she had to surface. Oh, you guys are too funny. Is Darla still here? Is she lurking? I thought I saw her earlier and then I didn't see her. Uh-oh, what did Peggy say? And then she retracted. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling, Emmy? Do you still have your fever? You feeling better? Yeah. Where's Darla? Anyway, I don't think she was here earlier. I was showing some of the cards she sent me. Look at these. They're going in my journal. Look how cool.
Oh, you never. Well, how how uh, how did they say? I mean, why? What gave them the clue that you were not well? Usually, it's the fever. What was it? Yeah, aren't these cool? And they're real postcards. From when? 1954. 1954. And I don't see a date on this one. But it's to the same person. So I'm going to guess it's 1954. <laughs> Two cents for, for a postcard. She has a rip in her stomach. Oh, my gosh. Yes, Deborah. Oh, poor thing. She's in the hospital now. I'm assuming for what you said. Oh, she's in surgery now. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Okay, and me, you said, oh, you had a cold body pain and sore throat. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Wow. Elaine says good night. Her eyes are closing. <laughs> Good night, Elaine. Wow. Four hours. Well, keep us keep us posted, Deborah. That's scary. Yeah, it takes a long time because they're act obviously they're doing repairs as opposed to just a standard operation. So now you know how you guys um my eyes are getting dizzy. Uh, the okay, let me backtrack. Now, when you go to those three little dots, you can't go to the to the individual's channel. Correct. Correct. So there is a place you can go where you can do that. Now, you have to just download something really quick on your Chrome, something, something, something. So I went over there. Well, what I didn't realize is when you do that, um, when you go over to those little. Well, I'm not over there. I'm in the studio right now. Hold on. Let me go to. Let me see what it looks like over there. Wait a minute. I'm as I'm speaking, I'm thinking, wait a minute. Let me go see. Let me go to the other one. I don't know what it looks like for myself. Let me go look. Don't leave. If you have, if I lose you. <laughs> and I gotta turn my volume off on my video. My there you go. Okay. You guys are there. Oh, it doesn't show it. Oh, oh, cool. All right. So I now, when, when you are, oh, cool. Okay. So I went over and downloaded that thing. And now when I'm looking at you right now, I'm in YouTube studio. I'm looking at, you know, um, what I'm streaming and what am I trying to say? I can tell I'm getting tired because I can't even put two words together. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not looking at what you're looking at. I'm looking at 
through through um, the studio. So then I leave the studio and I go over to what you're seeing. And I can now um, let me see if it still lets me do it. Yeah, I can click and it will let me go to channels and everything. And all of your names, all of you guys that have channels, you're in, in green. So it's making me get dizzy. You guys are in like this fluorescent green. And the background when you're on the studio here on YouTube is black. So all every time you guys say something, all I see are these, these like fluorescent green names going bro, bro. Bruma is like, oh my gosh, my eyes are tired from trying to focus on that fluorescent green on the black. It's crazy. What's it called? Oh dear, here's a good question. Um, oh my gosh. Uh oh. It's 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 something like really simple and stupid like C channel or go C channel or something like that is the is the app you have to download over at Chrome to the Chrome. Um, let me see. OK, if I lose you guys, you know why. But let me go see if I can find it really quick. <laughs> I'm getting brave. OK, went over to Chrome here. Let me get my. Uh. All right, so if I go to Chrome and I type in C, C channel, um, C channel YouTube. Okay, let me see. Oh, 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 oh. C channel YouTube. How to see subscribers right now. How to view your subscription on YouTube. How to see. Go to. Didn't give a. Doesn't give a link. How dumb is that? Pretty dumb. Okay. Um, see your recent... No, I don't want to see recent subscribers. I don't want to see that either. Well, I can't find it right now. I'll have to... I'll have to look for it again. I forgot what I clicked on to get there. <laughs> I think they're just trying to keep us awake, Jennifer. <laughs> yeah, you go to Google and. But Google's giving you, but you go to Google um, and you don't, it's free. Um, you go to Google. Um, Google Apps or something. Let me see. Google App Store or something like that. Google Apps. Oh, there we go. Google App Store. Google App Store and um. Search for what? What would it be called? C. C. C viewers. C viewers um, channel. I don't know. I'm guessing now, you guys. Because it was like a super simple name. I thought I would remember, and obviously I didn't. No, it doesn't pop up. So, oh, well. Sorry. <laughs> Go to channel. Did you find it? 
Oh, there you go. Lucy knows. It's okay. She found it. There I was. Looking everywhere. I can never find nothing. I'm the worst searcher -er -er around. But anyway, now I can just, you know, click and boom, just like the old days. Which is helpful when you're trying to be a moderator, you know, on a on a, a live or something like that. You can right away, you can see, oh, what kind of a goofy channel do they have? And you can be ready for them. Get rid of them. <laughs> uh. Okay, ladies. I think I'm at a um at a place where I don't know where I'm going now. I'll have to think about this and look at this tomorrow. And hopefully come up with uh with something. I think it'll come together. It's just taking a little long. Everything takes so much longer than I think it's going to. Thank you, Peggy. You too. Stay safe. Good night, Ami. Good night, Elizabeth. Oh, I'm getting there, Sandra. There's not much more to do. Not much more to do. Plus, I got this all glued, so I can't be messing with the actual book. <laughs> Sandra, you're so bad. You know me so well. <laughs> yeah, I still might even go make some tea and have a cracker or two, right? Well, at least I don't do this when I go to pe people's homes and visit. When I get to leave, I just leave. I don't drag it on. I'm a good guest. <laughs> good night, Jennifer. Well, anyway, before I do go, I'm reminding you about the um, cyanotype printing. Kind of let me know over at the group or, you know, message me on Facebook or just communicate with me somehow. Um, like right now. Okay, yeah, there's 36 people. Those of you that think you uh, are going to want to join the workshop for the cyanotype right now say yes i'm not going to hold you to it i'm just trying to get a feel for it 36 people how many go for it now what kind of doll is in her tail <laughs> um it was sort of like a barbie doll type thing this was the original top Oops. And I got it at the Dollar Tree, obviously for a dollar. And it was like this fluorescent green and all that kind of stuff. But I didn't want I didn't want her on there. I want it to look more antique. -y. A little more antique. -y.
Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's not bad. Oh, what kind of doll is in her tail? I'm sorry, I misunderstood. Yeah, it's a a doll that I made um, out of paper clay. That's supposed to look. That's supposed to look like a frozen Charlotte. It's not a real one. It's a fake one. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Don't want to um, make you think it's a real one. It's a fake one. Mm -mm. Uh oh, Jennifer woke up again. She's back. She's as bad as I am. <laughs> <laughs> crazy lady okay people i'm getting ready to um i haven't had supper and it's 11 30 um and i think i'm hungry and there's nothing here except for crackers so i'm gonna go next door and try and find a real meal if my husband left anything i made supper but if um if i don't say make sure you leave this for me he ends up eating everything he wants, and then he shares the rest with the dogs. <laughs> if it's the vegetables. Our dogs love vegetables. They will fight over a dish if I put uh, broccoli in there. It has to be cooked, of course. They don't eat raw broccoli. They don't like it. But almost any vegetable they'll eat. About the only vegetable they don't like um, is like raw lettuce. They don't like raw lettuce because, I don't know. I mean, I mean, let's face it. There's no flavor to raw lettuce unless you've got dressing on it. Um, so, um, yeah. You haven't had supper yet either, Susan? What are you going to eat? Well, she's on a diet. Yeah. Yeah, I have to fix something. I might end up shaving these down or it's easier to sh to cut these down than to build her out that might be what i end up doing maybe <laughs> who knows who knows who knows what i'll do but see you are thinking of um The man's conception of a mermaid. This is what a real mermaid looks like. Not what Madison Avenue says a mermaid should look like. So, and you as a woman should appreciate that. <laughs> Got to work tomorrow. Ooh. You too, Janice. You stay safe. Okay, Lynn misses Cuban sandwich. I ate when living in Florida. Ooh, I miss anything right now. I'm hungry. Mica powder. Ooh. mica on her body well then i'll just slap i'll just slap some of that on her some dragon glaze that's full of mica maybe we should try some right before and then we'll leave we'll leave we'll put some on there with my finger and then we're gonna go when this is dry we're out of here ha ha sandra We've put so many things on this poor person. I don't know. What's one more thing? What's one more thing? Okay, let's dry it and see what happens.
Well, it gave it a little sparkle. There you go. Sparkle, sparkle. A little mic, it'll do it. <laughs> Be sure to deduct that napkin from your Etsy inventory. What are we talking about? Oh, <laughs> I don't sell these. <laughs> these are purely for my crackers. I find it helps me sleep at night and wake up every morning. I guess that's wine or something. I don't know. <laughs> All right, Sandra. Two times. That's up. We're over and out. All right, ladies. Thanks again. Make sure you let me know about the stuff. And then um, tomorrow, all of the ones that have been purchased for the industrial kits, they're going out. And, and that's that for now. So thanks again for keeping me company and inspiring me and moving me along. And maybe someday this book will be finished. I really don't know. <laughs> thanks again. I'm going to go eat something. Good night. <laughs>